everybody Janine here and this video is going to be very much like the one about Adobe Premiere Elements except in this video we're going to be looking at Windows Movie Maker and how you can save your videos in much smaller file sizes how to match your settings when you're saving your videos to match your original raw video footage because that is the best way to preserve your video quality. You want to save your video files to match the raw video footage because if you try to go up in video quality you really can't. It can only be as good as what you originally filmed and if you drop your video quality to uh, get a smaller file size well then you're going to lose quality in video. So I'm going to show you how to match the settings in Movie Maker um, to match your original video uh, footage so that way you get the best quality uh, video playback on YouTube but also how to save them in smaller file sizes so that they will be easier to upload to YouTube so stay tuned we're fixing to get started okay a similar process that you're gonna go through just like we did in um, the Adobe Premiere Elements is that the first thing we need to do is figure out what our original file size is. So this is the video that we're working on to, that I'm working on today. So I right click on it and go to properties and then details and that's going to show me the original settings uh, for my raw video file. So you can see it's 1280 by 720 uh, the total bit rate, and this is what you really need to pay attention to, is the 8399 kbps with a frame rate of 29 frames per second and my audio is 48 kilohertz. So those are my original settings. So here my video is edited. It's ready for me to save it. So I'm going to come over to File and we're going to save movie. Now you can see I already have where it says Janine YouTube. I've already got this setting made for my um, video files, but if I didn't, then what I would do is try and see if one of these pre-settings that they have here, because they have a number of different settings already for you, for like high def display, and there it shows you it's 1920, I'm sorry it, it doesn't hang in there longer, 1920 by 1080 with a uh, bit rate of 24.19 and look at the estimated file size is 173 megabytes per minute of video that is a huge file size huge 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 oh let me cancel I didn't want to do that so if we don't see in some of their pre settings that something that matches our uh, raw video footage then what we need to do is create our own setting or we can also see, oftentimes I find the very top option, which is recommended for this project, is usually pretty close to the original file settings, the original, the raw video footage. But in this case, it's not. It is a little bit larger. And I'm sorry that won't hang up there a little bit longer. Um, it's still a little bit bigger and will save at 72.44 megabytes per second. I mean per minute. That's still pretty large file size. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to adjust my camera. Okay. Okay, so they're recommended for this project. I don't know why it's doing that. It would be 72.44 megabytes per minute of video. That's still pretty huge. And you can see my settings come in at 61.03, which is still pretty big, but that is what matches my raw video footage. Now their YouTube recommended settings I find do work rather well. And they're pretty close to my video footage except that their bit rate is much smaller at 51, I mean 5.199 megabytes, which translates to about 5100 uh, bit rate, that, and that's what you're going to see a lot when you get to choose your bit rate. Is uh, It's more like 8,000, 10,000 or so forth. Well, this is, would be like 5,100 or 5,200 and something 
if you're breaking it down to KBB, KBs versus MBs. Um, and the estimated file size is only 37.14. So in lieu of any other options, I would recommend you just go with that YouTube setting because it is always going to upload to YouTube really well and it's going to be a smaller file size. But if you want to match it exactly to your raw video footage, then come all the way down to the bottom and create custom settings. And this is where you're going to be able to match your video files exactly. Okay, so to match my raw video footage, which is my original video footage that I put into the editor, to match mine I put it at 1280 pixels by 720 pixels at 80, a bit rate of 83.99 kbps, a frame rate of 29, and I think mine was 29 even, so I'm just going to take away the .97, and then this audio format matches at 48 kilohertz. So again, I just gave this a name of example, and I'm going to save it, and it's going to recommend a file to put it in. It really doesn't matter. Just say save and close. And then when you come back over, you're going to see that option now on your list. And like I said, you give it whatever name works for you, whatever you're going to be able to remember. So you can see there's the settings that I just saved uh, that say example. And that's a, a file size that's going to be 60.99 megabytes per minute of video. So that's a whole lot better than 173 megabytes per minute of video. So this is going to be a lot smaller file size. So I'm going to go ahead and select the settings as my example. And then I'm just going to leave it at my name. Now this is this is important. This is the most important part. Right here is where I have the option. After I've clicked save, you know, I've chosen my settings and click save. Now it's giving me the option of what folder I want to put it in. And it, it defaults to the original folder of your original video file. And then I can give it a file name, but here, save as type. This is where I can choose either to save it as an MPEG or a WMV. See there, MPEG-4, which is a video file, and I know a lot of you are probably familiar with MP3, which is a, would be a, an audio file, a music file. Well, this is an MP4, which is a video file, so I can either save it as an MP4, or I can save it as a Windows Media Video File, which is a WMV. You want to select that option because it is going to compress your video file, make it a much smaller file while preserving the quality. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. And I like working with Movie Maker versus Adobe for a couple of reasons. It takes Adobe longer to save the same video file. Um, it's going to take twice as long to save it in Adobe. And I, I think it's not as much the program as it is the processor in my computer um, is not large enough to handle the, the, that size program. It's just a really, really large program and it takes a lot of my computer usage to run it. So Windows Movie Maker is a lot lighter and it saves video files much, much quicker. The thing, the downside though is I don't have as many options for graphics and other things that I can add into the video as I have with Adobe. Um, but it, it's just it's so much friendlier and so much easier to work with and it runs so much faster. I find Adobe to be very slow and sluggish, but again, I think it's because of my computer. I don't have a very fast processor. So there's a lot more options available for fun things that you can add to your videos. But for just a functional video editor, if you're doing some real no frills video editing, I find Movie Maker is so much easier to work with and it does, uh, it does a good job. And, uh, and again, you have the option to save it as a WMV file, which is much smaller and is going to upload to YouTube much, much faster. So those are my tips and tricks for, work, for saving files in Movie Maker to make them smaller and more YouTube-friendly files. 
Well, I really hope that you found this helpful. I really hope that it helped you to navigate Windows Movie Maker a little bit better as far as saving your video files and getting them in an easier file size, um, you know, to save to uh, or to upload to YouTube rather. So if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I am by no means an expert and I don't claim to be, but I have worked with um, Windows Movie Maker quite a bit and so there, I, I've learned to navigate it pretty well. So if you have some questions, I will do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for watching and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you have a very blessed day. Bye now.